Welcome to the Berry Girls Kitchen. I'm Linda. And I'm Kylie. Today we're here making it count by making delicious vegan chili. Oh yes, mama, and this chili is easy, meat-free, and hearty. Beans are considered a superfood, and they are one of the most nutritious foods you can eat. All beans have a similar nutritional value. They're high in fiber and they help lower your blood sugars, but they can also potentially decrease cholesterol. They're also gluten-free and rich in protein and folate, which is super important during pregnancy. And they also have essential nutrients such as iron, mm -hmm. magnesium, calcium, and zinc. Yes, of the different varieties we're using in our chili, kidney beans are the richest in fiber, they're meaty, and they're dense, so they will absorb flavor pretty good. And pinto beans, which are the cousins of kidney beans, they're smaller, softer, and creamier in texture, and they have a little higher folate content as well. Black beans, the staple of Cuba, is more of a dense, hearty bean, and it has more of an earthy flavor, so it will be higher in magnesium, potassium, and you'll just love it. Beans also have a special power of feeding the good bacteria in your intestines, so eat up. Yes, we're also using textured vegetable protein, also known as TVP. It is a wonderful meat alternative for vegetarians, or if you're trying to change things up a little bit. It's gluten-free, low in fat, super easy to make, high in fiber, and one fourth cup gives you 12 grams of protein. Check it out. It's great. It's excellent. No. Well, let's get this delicious chili started. We'll heat our oil in a large pot over medium heat. Then we'll add our onions, a pinch of salt, and saute until soft for about five to seven minutes. Then we'll add our garlic and cook that for an additional 30 seconds to a minute. After that, we're, we will add pinto, black, and kidney beans along with the TVP, canned tomatoes, nutritional yeast, broth, cocoa powder, chili powder, cayenne pepper, and a teaspoon of salt. We'll get all these ingredients in our pot and combine, and then we'll turn the heat up and bring it to a boil. Once it's boiling, we'll lower the heat mm -hmm. and simmer covered for about 15 minutes. Yes. And definitely stir in occasionally to get all your ingredients mixed. We'll taste and add salt only if needed. Serve hot and you can use a variety of toppings, mom, such as cherry tomatoes, cilantro, jalapenos, and even the crowd favorite, avocados. Wow, I can't wait to get that chili in my belly. Let's do it. Don't forget to leave a like and follow us, the Berry Girls, for more healthy and flavorful recipes. And when you try these at home, leave us a comment and let us know how you make, make it count. count. The Berry Girls are brought to you by Hen House. Berry Girls out.